Well, she sneaks Ooh, around the world Ooh, from the to Ooh, Carolina. Ooh, She's Ooh, a sticky Ooh, finger filcher Ooh, from Ooh, Berlin Ooh, down Ooh, to Belize. She'll take you for Ooh, a ride Ooh, on a slow boat to China. Ooh, Tell Ooh, me Ooh, where in the world is Kamala Harris. University of Howard. This is Mr. Dante Finger. He's going to be the umpire today. My name is Jason Soisman. I'm going to be the referee. Hampton, you are the visiting team. This is the coin. The American Eagles heads. Lady Justice's tails. American Eagles heads. It is a hedge. You want the toss, you want to defer. Ball. You want the ball, right? What time you want to defend? Right. Hampton. I don't need to tell you, but this year alone, 18 states have passed 30 new restrictive voting laws. These laws disproportionately impact communities of color, poor communities. These are laws that are designed to make it harder for people to vote. But together with so many of you, President Joe Biden and I are fighting back. We are working to pass the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. Together, I know we can get this done. This time two days ago, there were just over 4,000 people. There are now upwards of 11,000. We are talking nearly a tripling of the numbers in just 48 hours. Of hundreds of people crossing from Mexico as we speak right now, arriving into the United States illegally. Wow, that is a lot of people down there. All right, guys, what you're looking at right now is that is the U.S. side of the Rio Grande. That is a mass of several hundred illegal immigrants who have just crossed the Rio Grande and look at this several hundred more streaming across as we speak we're on a boat in the Rio Grande this is the Mexican side of the river right now we have released 100,000 illegal immigrants into the interior of the country that is a stunning stunning number where's the great humanitarian Kamala Harris how about a message from our vice president? Where is she? She was supposed to be in charge of all of these migration issues, going to those northern triangle countries. That's obviously not Haiti. That was one of her first international trips with the message, do not come here illegally. People aren't listening. What is she saying now? Where's the vice president on any of this? Isn't she supposed to be addressing the root causes of migration? Absolutely, and she has been addressing the root causes of migration by working with countries in the region to ensure they have the assistance they need to reduce the number of people who are coming uh, and trying to make those journeys across the border. We've actually seen some reductions in some of those numbers. That doesn't change the fact that this is a very challenging situation in Del Rio. We're working to implement our policies and we're working to uh, ensure we are also addressing root causes. 